Orange Gelato Shop. Oh, okay. And I was like, you got something. But then right, the text after was a Zach Gallon. <laughs> you got something. A Zach Gallon. So of then gelato? we go, then, you know, then right. we shut the Sell? door and, and we let the demons come in and then we start going. And we find all the perfect ice creams mm. for these Arizona Diamondbacks. World is ready. Glad you had fun. Your next trip should be to Venezuela, home of Pablo Lopez. We heard rumblings, JP, yesterday of, of the twins and him nearing an extension. He is everything you want. What are the details? What's the latest? The d -Row always says you have to talk to guys before you sign them, right? Personality tells you so much. We had a chance to visit with him on MLB Central last week. He is a winner. We know how you feel about the WBC, JP, and there must be to something, something to guys taking meaningful at-bats in March because so many guys off to a hot start. Add this guy to the list, Bobby Witt Jr. That, right? That's such a good point. I spoke with Bob Melvin last week. He said, we're anxious to get Fernando Tatis back. He will bat leadoff when he comes back. I'm so curious, on a, on a team full of superstars, what's the vibe in his returning this week? Oh, no, not at all. Nobody has to do too much in that lineup, right? That, that's kind of the beauty in San Diego. Meanwhile, in the NL Central, the Brewers are at the top in the early going. I remember when Bryce Terang hit that walk-off in his, in his first at-bat, and I thought, there are so many young Brewers who sort of look the part. If you project out, what's the long-term expectancy for this year and beyond? Right. They're firing me up a lot to like about Milwaukee three weeks in. They're in Seattle tonight. JP Morosi on the inside corner. Good stuff. Welcome Thanks back. So. Nice Good to nice. have you. We'll appreciate it.